Too long to wait. <laughs> I want to finish this thing. I want to finish this thing today. And uh, we have the mask to do. And I have the video on um, video on how to um, how to do it. I kind of wonder if uh, I wonder if I can. Let's see if I can figure out how to, uh... Uh... Don't want a browser, I want, like... Let's see if we can capture, maybe... Um... My, my YouTube. So this is going to be the video that um, this is the video that you know kind of comes with the thing. We're only going to look at it uh, if we need it. But uh, I have this distinct feeling like we might need it. Um, anyway, so we've done the the body and the hat, and uh, we've got two arms, 
and the scythe head and the the scythe itself so like we're gonna eventually be doing this um but we now need to make the, the skull mask of this little dude so we're gonna try to figure it out i did watch the video for this and um it's it's a little convoluted this is by the way this guy so this is a crochetta little 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 mask dude uh, that i picked up on um on amazon so let's see okay so working into a chain so we're gonna need to do chain uh, working into a chain chain five chain um turn so let's do a let's do a five chain first and see what happens so one two three four five okay turn skip two chains and then three double crochets which means i need to flip to where this tells me how to do double crochet like i think i remember but we're gonna we're gonna pull this up anyway so it's yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over the other two okay so skip one two and then double crochet so yarn over pull through yarn over through two and yarn over through the rest okay so we are going to do um do three of these and we will end up with three stitches total which makes sense because we had a chain of five and we um you know you used two of it to create elevation okay well so that's round one also these instructions tell me to do this with my brown yarn they're wrong um now round two uh so it says eight chain three single crochet on the other side of the chain we are we're gonna we're gonna look at this video a little bit so the skull mask take out the corresponding yarn we are just gonna uh, skip through you know okay we chain eight we do the double crochet we learn how to do a double crochet we do the double crochet Round one is done. Okay, now. In round two, start with eight chain stitches, CH. Okay. We're going to make eight chain stitches. Wait. Eight chain stitches, CH, are done. Then work three single crochets, SC, through the loops on the other side of the chain. Oh, through here. Okay. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three singles on the other side so over here right one
crochet. Oh my god. I can do a single, I swear. Okay, three. One, two, three, right? Okay, so that's what they do. V over there. Then work eight more chains, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight chain stitches, CH, are done. Remove the marker. Work one slip stitch, SS, in the marked stitch. Okay, that was our first double. Okay. Three chain stitches, CH. Three, two, three. Three chain stitches, CH, are done. Then work one half double crochet, HDC, in the next stitch. Then work three chain stitches, CH. So far it looks like a monkey head. <laughs> but it looks like their monkey head, so. I guess that's the reasonable. Finally, work oh. one slip stitch SS in the next stitch. Okay, I did that. Round two is done. In round three, we'll work six single crochets SC and four half double crochets. HDC in the first hole formed by eight chain stitches, CH of round two. I'm sorry, what now? Crochet in the first hole, okay. So we're doing six single crochets into this hole. Okay. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and then continue to work five more single crochets, SC. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, we did six. Six single crochets. Now four half doubles into Six that same Six single crochets, hole. SC, are done. Then work four half double crochets, HDC.
Okay. So did that part, did that part. For half double crochets, HDC are done. In the next stitch, work one double crochet increase, DCIMC, which means working two double crochets, DC, in the same stitch. one double crochet DC in the next stitch. Right. Then work one more double crochet DC in the same stitch. I would if I could, but I'm struggling with the stupid splitting yarn. One and one double crochet increase DC INC is done. Next, okay. work one double crochet DC. Okay. Okay. In the next stitch, work one double crochet increase DC INC, which means working two double crochets. DC in the same stitch. Okay, we just did that. You don't have to explain it twice, but I guess you do. Because you're the instruction lady. Okay. Well, that just fell out. Then work four half double crochets, HDC, in the second hole formed by eight chain stitches. CH of round two. Okay, wait. Four HDCs, okay. Yarn, stop the splitting. Three. Four. Then work six single crochets, SC. Yeah, six singles, okay. One. Did that. Did that. Six single crochets SC are done. Then work one increase INC in the first hole formed by three chain stitches CH of round two. We need to work two single crochets SC in the same stitch. Yeah, eat, eat dinner first, then, uh, then take out your hood. INC in the second hole formed by three chain stitches, CH of round two. We need to work two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. Yeah, because cause I'm trying to, like, pay attention and also watch this stupid video, which is terrible. Okay, hang on. So I did... 
increase then single crochet and then i'm going to uh, increase into this second nostril i guess at least that's what i'm assuming it is one two at least i'm assuming it's a nostril okay putting these half doubles. Then work one half double crochet HDC in each stitch. Finish ten half double crochets HDC in total. Okay, I guess I just go around with half doubles, maybe? One. Mark the first half double crochet HDC and then continue to work nine more half double crochets HDC. supposed to mark the first one so let me go do that Okay, splitting yarn is splitting. Doubles. Okay. In the next stitch, work one double crochet increase, B C I N C, which means working two double crochets, B C, in the same stitch. Now do ten halves again. Okay. Then work ten half double crochets HDC. Please finish them by yourself. Two. Ten half double crochets HDC are done. Three. Four. 
Okay. In the next stitch, work one increase INC, which means working two single crochets SC in the same stitch. increases HDC INC. We need to work two half double crochets HDC in each of the following three stitches. First, work one half double crochet HDC in the next stitch. Then work one more half double crochet HDC in the same stitch. One half double crochet increase HDC INC is done. Continue to work two more half double crochet increases HDC INC. We need to work two half double crochets HDC in each of the following two stitches. Uh, I hate how much this yarn splits. That's my death god mask thing. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail. Pull the yarn tail out. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end. Not this one though, the other yarn tail. Because this one is for attaching. The skull mask is completed. This side with a yarn tail is the back of the fabric. The other side is the front. Let's sew up all parts. Wrap the hat fabric around the neck. Okay. Yeah, like it came out reasonably okay-ish as these things go. You know, death. Okay, so now we're gonna... Attach this guy. So I finished part nine. So wrap the hat fabric around the neck. 
fix it on round one. Uh, the outer layer of the body. Okay, come on, needle. Basically, like where he's gonna like have a seam, I want to make sure that his seam is in the back. So basically, this gets um, stitched sort of to this to this row somehow. Yep, that's fine. Hey, Absurd Nerd. Thank you for hanging out. I'm having an ad break anyway. Okay, so what am I doing? Fix the hat on round one of the outer layer of the body. We're basically whip stitching this hat on this dude's body in a really tiny and annoying and somewhat uncomfortable way because it's very hard to get the needle to where you want it to go without it doing this nonsense. Of course, it does that nonsense. that because we are nowhere near there nowhere nowhere near there also I'm gonna have to re like realign all the stuffing because everything is getting bent out of shape because I have to press on this to like, ugh, like get the, come on. Get all this nonsense out of there.
everything is on such a like tiny tiny scale here everything is so much harder to do because everything is tiny like normally you would think this would not be the case because everything being so tiny would mean that nobody can really see mistakes well that's actively true um, you still have to like get your normal adult sized hands around weird tiny spaces and therein lies the problem or a problem therein lies a problem okay so we just need to finish this getting there we are definitely getting there Just need to like get these guys together. Right. That is the thing I want to do. Come on. Anchor this thread. Anchor this thread and then redo all of the um, like re squish all of the things. Like because I want his hat to be like a little bit slouchy on him like that. There we go. tell you what that means but they sure do just stick that word in there um, in case you know it I guess like the next row down but that's okay
also going to um, tack his arm down a tiny bit because um, because I want to. That's why. Okay, like that's a reasonable. Um, down the arm. So. so that's where we're put back in here. Let me just wrap around the stitches that we did for uh, attaching this arm. this thread. Okay. Now in the name of bilateral symmetry, let's touch the other arm, right? Seal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end. Okay, does that look reasonably okay? I think that looks reasonably okay. symmetry. Right. Then sew up the skull mask. That is. We'll sew the skull mask on rounds 4 to 14 of the head in the middle of the face. Hold. Not done yet. You cannot keep going without me. You stupid thing.
just need to anchor away this thread. Okay. All right. The arms have been attached. Okay, so now I think we are pulling down the hood of this robe as if it was a hoodie. And we are going to attempt to attach this face mask to this dude, bro. <laughs> I am muted. How am I muted? Oh, you muted me. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god, what is going on? Excuse me. Okay, so where are we attaching this face? stitching it on or what? Okay, I think it's just whip stitched on. Let's let's hide the instructions for now because they are just in the way. And then we are just gonna stitch this face on this dude.
Okay. Kind of, kind of an adorable little death god thing happening here. Okay, well that is, that is our death dawn. Let's anchor this thread. make it be something we can cut off. Okay, well, we're almost ready. I'm gonna play this thing up in the sides, so let's see. forward through them going around and around and sewing the mask down the skull mask is sewn up we need to give it teeth then we'll use a piece of dark gray yarn to embroider three vertical lines on the lower jaw of the skull mask as the teeth These scissors are as as horrific as this yarn. that no one two and conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end So that we can go like this. Yeah. Er 
there's our three teethies. I'm just gonna the skull teeth are completed. Tie this knot. Then sew up the death side. And what we're gonna do? Wrap the wide side of the death that. side around. We're gonna. We're just gonna pull those guys in with a hook. Hopefully it will just work. Come on. Yep. And then the other one also should just a thing work. Come on. Your hood back on death. <sighs> right here's our here's our death with its hood. And then we're supposed to wrap the scythe blade around the scythe stick. That stick was still the worst thing to do ever. Um, but we will nonetheless attach the scythe blade to it like so. So I'm just gonna Just gonna like whip stitch it on. Right. Eh. Side, and I'm gonna just shove the needle all the way down into the stick. Look, it's totally a scythe, kind of, sort of. Around the upper part of the sickle handle, and then wheel sew the fabric to secure it. There is no fixed requirement for the specific position of the death scythe on the handle. cannot thread this white thread. Uh, there we go. Because it's going to be holding this thing, which means I need to 
you know, attach it to its hand. Somehow. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess ends. Death side is completed. Finally, fix the sickle handle onto Death's hand with white yarn. I think that conceal the yarn it. tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess ends. Ha. Huh. Okay. I I I hate to say I told you so, but I think I told you so. Like five on either end was too much. Okay, are we done? You can freely display the specific form of death holding the sickle. Yeah, I think we're done. Look, I am done. Have a death. Doctor, doctor, oh, oh, I am death. Look at me, I am death. Ah. Deathy, death, death. Rower. He is very cute. He totally can't stand up, but he is cute. And more importantly, he looks approximately like, like the picture says he's supposed to look. You know, uh, he's sort of a lumpy lopsided kind of death, but, uh, but he's, he's done. This is, this is a, a crochet kit that, um, that I finished. Despite it being very awful, terrible yarn, and there being a completely random ass glue stick for no reason whatsoever, and also an extra second hook for no reason, whatsoever um i think these threads are gonna bother me forever um but like you know otherwise it it worked oh, i'll put all of the bits that they gave me into this head scissors like okay so here we go this yarn was pretty terrible it kept splitting these scissors were pretty terrible they couldn't cut the yarn most of the time unless it wasn't like super tension these hooks are really nice like first of all they are pointy so they are like the um, Susan what's her face hooks as opposed to the um the other hooks wow I am so bad at this 
they're the hooks that I like. Well, that's my alarm telling me I should take my meds today. Thanks, alarm. Um, that's also trash. So, like, you know, I'm gonna stick one of the hooks with this kit so that, like, it stays with the remnants of this kit. The other one is gonna go into my, um, I don't know, knitting bag? I don't have a place to store. Okay, so they're the ones that are the not Susan Bates. Oh my god. Someday I will actually remember what they're called. But also I'm realizing I don't actually have like a place to store crochet hooks if I'm going to start to like own them. But I really like the um, the ones with this kind of handle. Because um, I was mentioning in the earlier stream yesterday um, over at Raging Galebear's house, um, I borrowed a hook and some yarn to make a tiny eggplant because I was bored. Um, and it was the other kind of hook, which was first of all terrible because I couldn't, like it wasn't pointy enough. But it was just like a metal stick hook, which meant that I was getting hand cramps pretty terribly. But like this one, you know, now I've been going for about an hour, but yesterday I was going for like six hours. And I had no hand cramps in the six hours of, of making this little dude because, it, like, you know... Even slightly ergonomic handle is slightly ergonomic. So, like, that's kind of cool. Now, if we go, <laughs> yeah, sure. You can have all your metal sticks you want. I don't need to. If we go to Amazon and we go and look up, you know, crochetta, this is the random other, like, kits they have. There's a lot of brands, but let's try um, their, in fact, specific brand. This is adorable. This is less so. This looks like it would be like, like not harder, but less fun to have around. See, I don't know about the turtles. Let's see. Uh, we've got cats holding cookies, baby elephants, uh, various dinos, Here's our Death God. Yeah, so Death God was $15. Um, bunny. Uh, roses? I don't think so. But like, maybe a tree? I don't know what these are. I mean, ferrets, I think. Maybe. Um, here's another. I think that I can't even tell if this is a different one or not. There's this dragon. Yeah, I mean, but you can see the pictures. Yeah, this dragon is pretty neat. We're gonna look at him in a second. It, you know, Jesus things. Um, some more uh, of uh, the like, this is like desert plants or something. Uh, more dragons. I think these are more dragons. I'm not actually sure what these are. Weird owls, maybe? Well, we're gonna look at all of them. Apparently you can get like bundles of several of them. These, well, these are like bookmarks. A 
rainbow octopus is cute, but like not with the chicken. Don't need chicken. Buy pride bees? I don't know. Um, these are like basically kits of uh, random other kits shoved together. So let's maybe not. Um, let's look at them again. I think that dragon is probably the best thing here. Let's make him a little bit more visible in the... There we go. So, let's see. Comes with instruction book and video. Uh, you can do this with your grandma, clearly. Uh, 40% more yarn per color. Uh, you can also do this with your mom or older sister if grandma's not around. Stitch happy memories to connect with family and friends. just pipe cleaner wrapped around it stitch down do with my RGB I don't know what you're asking as in like do you want to get a kit and do them together Because, you know, we desperately need more connection to each other. <laughs> we just, we don't spend enough time together. Um, yeah, no, I think that would be absolutely fun. We would need to find a castle to stick it on. Yeah, I know, more projects. That child is probably old enough to do this, actually. Visit our store to learn more. Join now. Whoa, stop having sound. Okay. That's vaguely adorable. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, go back. Go back to where you tell me what's in the kit. So, box, pattern, how to crochet. Stuffing. The hot glue stick that we don't need for any reason. A yarn needle. Uh, two safety eyes. Um, a thin wire. Uh, stitch markers, of which we only need one. Two crochet hooks, in case I guess you lose one. Scissors. Yarn. And whatever the heck that is. I'm gonna press play again so I can see maybe? Nope. I need to press play in enough time for that thing to go away. I know, that just says with 40% more yarn. I, maybe that's the fluff that goes on its mane? Yeah, I don't have a pattern for a crochet castle. Do you? Like, that could be fun, but I don't have a pattern for it. Um... So, like... This abs yeah, that is fluff. That this absolutely looks lovely and doable. Uh, I don't know why it's white. I sort of want the pattern and probably not actually their terrible, terrible yarn, even though I'd still use it. Um, I wonder if it's posable or if it's just always in that shape. I think it's just always in that shape. I say I think I'll probably use your own yarn yeah but like if you're gonna also do it you should also purchase a copy of your own pattern um 
just put that out there. And it is nicer yarn to touch than the yarn that we were using at your place yesterday. Because this yarn, as much as it splits and is kind of annoying, uh, does not feel like terrible um, nonsense on my fingers. All right, uh, what are we looking at over here? Okay, but that's not the right kind of castle. That is not the right kind of castle, but since we are here, Mommy Yurumi Castle. No. Okay, no. Um, we might as well stick to crochet. Uh, where do we have like toys and stuff? <laughs> Mature content. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, difficulty, availability, fiber, weight, pamphlet. No, like, where do we just say that it's like a toy as opposed to, um, you know, a hat or whatever? Here we go. Um, toys, toys and hobbies. Let's go with all toys and hobbies. There's only 69 of them. Yeah, it is totally a thing. Mm. This might be the least bad thing for mice. Mm. This looks like a bouncy house castle. Two over from like this one, the princess castle. It looks like it's made out of baby food bottles that are like stuck together too much. Like, this is better. But let's see what else is here. Mm. School bus. That's that's totally what we get if we search for castle. Okay, you too can go to Ravelry, type in castle, uh, select crochet, and then under, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, category, select all toys and hobbies. You know? Look, see, definitely bouncy castle. Also, it's not my fault you're watching it on, like, a small screen. Um... Okay, I think we've uh, abandoned all pretense of it being a castle. Let's try. Right, which is valid. Um, royal mice in a castle. I mean, that's about the right size for uh for that dragon um but we need a tower and this does not have a tower but like look at this despite looking like a cake if we make it not pink we can absolutely make it look sort of kind of like a castle. <laughs> this one just looks terrible is the problem. Like I don't don't like that one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna uh we're gonna ask um, Amazon. Crochet Castle. I don't want books. I want things. Lots of critters. Uh. 
I don't think so. But it's it's Chill Hop Essentials Summer 2024 Lo-Fi Beats. Instrumental music uh uh free to use. You know. Will not get dinged for copyright violation for using it. I mean, we can also just see what Crochetta themselves has. This is like all of their... The, the, the rainbow octopus with like little baby octopi is kind of adorable. And they have weird ass unicorns. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is apparently a Jumbo 2 penguin family. I guess. I don't know what Club Penguin is, and I feel like I probably don't want to know. This is adorable. right and i bet they fit together too um except like why are they wearing santa hats are these potatoes what are these yep jumbo potato couple um clearly this is the very hungry caterpillar so, like, this is what they've got. Uh, the avocados are freaking adorable. And only $10. Uh, yes, you can. This is not an invitation to um, start quoting Bereshit. Um, this is also very cute. The donuts are, like, they're cute, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm not going to, like, display donuts. Like, I would want, like, a cute thingy. I think, I think the dragon is the way to go. And, like, it's not a question of can I, can I draw it? It's a question of, look, it's drawn. There it is. Look, there is the castle for this dragon. I want, like, that kind of castle. It might be the case that this needs to be, like, a Lego castle that we stick a dragon onto. Or, like, what we do is we build a big enough Lego castle that we can stick both of our dragons on it, and then it is a communally built art piece. What, the, um, buy you a dragon kit? I can do that. You don't want your own Amazon points for it or whatever? You know, I'm not going to buy it on stream, right? Like, I'm not putting my credit card number in there. We'll never achieve. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I can, I can procure uh, this kit. Two of them, in fact. Uh, they will... Hey, if we get two of them... We'll get them tomorrow. You did catch me. Very briefly. Look, I made... Oh, let me, let me take away this thing. I made... I made a death. 
I made, I made a death god. He looks somewhat like the picture. And uh, look, he, he is how he is supposed to be, more or less. I, I successfully did a crochet. That's okay. Totally fine. I am about to be done, because, like, A, it's 11 o'clock. B, yeah. Is this number three? I did. So I've done a little dumpster fire. I did the granny square sweater. Yes. It is. <laughs> that is RGB. Um, and, uh... Yeah, so I did the dumpster fire in the sweater, and then I started this thing, crochet project number three. And then in the middle of it yesterday, I made a tiny eggplant because I was bored at Gail's house. But this guy took a six hour stream yesterday, a one hour stream this morning, and you know, an hour and a half now, except I think mostly we've been like talking for the past 15 minutes, so. Not that long. And it sounds like we're gonna um, do crochet dragons. I don't know. Hey, Gail, do you have um, loose Legos just like existing? Because, uh, like existing not attached to a thing. Right, but we can make them into a castle. Okay. Do you want to, like... Alright, hang on. What? I think that's what I want to click on. Okay. Not found. Homepage that button. What is going on with this website? Yeah, but badly translated. Like, this is the the, the Lego.com en site. There we go. Okay, I don't know what page you're trying to find. I just want to be here. Because I want to see what Lego tells me for castle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, clearly, like, something's not rendering. But I don't think we want any of these castles, because I think we just want, like, to buy a pile of Legos and make some castle out of them. But... Yeah, I know, but I'm also looking at their price and, you know. And while, like, for example, this would be great, I'm not buying anything Hogwarts branded. And I don't think you should either. So, like... Right. And also, this project is great, but you should also not spend like $100 on castle nonsense. Wait, are all of the rest of these retired products? Oh my god, okay. Hang on. Availability. Available now. Let's start that way. Right? Not at these prices. Like, I was like, okay, if we can find a castle that's like 20 bucks. Um, or we can just figure out what we need for a Lego castle. And buy bricks. It'll be cheaper. Um, uh, apparently we're having an ad. There are too many Hogwartses.
So we determined that we want um where did the dragon go <laughs> oh the dragon is not not here um we found this dragon thing hang on i will find it and show it again All right so we disc discovered that this exists and we need it um but it's really adorable attached to a castle and we're gonna have two so like we can theoretically put both of our dragons onto a lego castle tower hence we need a lego castle tower i have a lighthouse <laughs> Not like like a done lighthouse. It's not motorized. It just exists. Um, we could just um. Oh my God! Why did this stop scrolling? Hang on. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, Connects Castle is gonna have too much uh, holes in it. But I have a lighthouse, like a Lego lighthouse that is just like sitting on my shelf. Because I built it for, um... Mm. Yeah, these are all, like, more or less obscenely expensive. Um, however... I wonder if my lighthouse still exists. Like the one that I had made. Uh, I don't think so. But it looks kind of like, kind of like this without the house. Yeah. Cause like if we do connects, um, not not sequel. Right? Like it's holy. <laughs> right? Like all the parts um, have holes in them. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're not building this. It's still holy. Like, it's lovely, but it's still holy. Anyway. We will, we will acquire dragons and make them. And if we actually succeed at finishing a project, both of us, this one is definitely holy. Um, or we can have lighthouse dragons. But yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, I will acquire us dragons. <laughs> uh, is there anybody around still to raid? Um, uh, Moodle is playing Life is Strange. Whole lots of people are playing the new Dragon Age game. I am so shocked and surprised. Um, nah, we don't have to raid anybody. Alright, it's 11 o'clock. I should end this because um, I have to be over at RGB's house at what? like 8 10 8 15 tomorrow so yeah
fight. Have a lovely night. There we go.